Okay, here's a big one. So I saw a picture for sale. It was over $100. <laughs> and I'm like, I can make that. So I took a big piece of white. It's just craft paper. It's just like paper you can buy for kids to paint on. Or I just took a piece that was the same size as my transfer. And I mixed some acrylic paint and water and just kind of watercolored it. I just wanted to get it all done. I, I'm trying to make it look like aged paper. So then I went around the edges and made it darker because I wanted the, the edges a little darker. And then I waxed it. I waxed it really good. This is paper. Our transfers are really sticky. So you want to wax really good, especially paper, because the sticky of the transfer will pull up the paper. And it happened. And I'll show you where it happened and how I fixed it. But I didn't get enough wax in one spot. So you want to wax good. Laid my transfer down. And then I use black chalk paste with the, the big squeegee. I did put a cart link to everything I used um, in the description. Also, this would be a good time to tell you that if you order from me, you're going to want to join the Perks program. And if you want information about that, I will put that link in the description as well. It's $20 a month. You get $20 back in product credit and you get 30% off everything all of the time. It's, it's quite a program, let me tell you. Okay, so I did a paste and peel because it was such a large transfer. You don't want your paste to dry in, in your transfer because if you do, it won't stay on your surface. So when they're large like this, I'll paste a little bit and then pull a little off, pull it up and then lay it back down and finish. So right there in the O, it had torn my paper off. So I just took a little black paint and fixed it. No big deal. Then I took this board. It's actually an 18 by 24 canvas. I got it on Amazon. You can get them in craft stores. And I did the same thing. I used a different color though. I shouldn't have done that, but I did run out of the other one. <laughs> but I just took brown paint and water and just did the whole thing. Now I'm not real concerned about the center because my picture is going to lay on top of it. So I just kind of want the edges done. So I did all the edges too on the sides. And then once this was completely dry, I took some water and a paintbrush and I just tore the edges. <clears throat> so I just went all the way around and just tore the edges. So I just add water. It's very thin paper and just tore it. And that, that makes it look really old. So once that was done, I just used tacky glue. I just put glue all over the back of it and just glued it to my, my canvas. And then I just put it on my mantle and I, I love it. I think it's cute. I didn't have to pay hundreds of dollars for it. <laughs> and I did use the little bunny on something that I posted this week, just that little tiny bunny. So there are other things you can do with a transfer. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button for me. Hit that sprinkle button for me. Make sure you're following me if you're not. And have a great day. Thank you.